Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. So today we have a classic video of mine, really. A popular video I used to do was visiting 10 of the weirdest websites that I could possibly find online. And a lot of these are not ones that you typically want to visit. I haven't done one of these in over a year. So in 2020, there's a lot of new websites out there. And I think we should start with this one. Pornstarbyface.com. I maybe don't even have to explain it based off that. This one is made because there's so many websites out there that if you submit a photo of yourself, it'll give you results of celebrities that look like you. So the porn star one is like this, but only for porn stars. So let's see if I upload the same photo. The level of similarity is too low. Perhaps the face was not recognized. Wait, does it not do males? Is it only females? Oh my god, I just looked at porn. Oh, this is on the front page. Step one, upload a photo of an actress or girl you know. Ugh. Isn't that a little creepy if you like you have a girl in the, your class or something that you know and you're like, I'm gonna find a porn star that looks like her. Actually, you know what I think I could do? People churn me into a girl all the time. So I'm just gonna use, I'm gonna go on my Reddit and find that one girl photo. I think I said I never wanna see this photo again, but I guess it's coming in handy. Oh, it, it accepted it. Okay, I look like Kendra Sunderland. I've never seen her work, but I might have to do research. Wait, actually, I don't know why I'd want to watch someone else that looks like me. Let's move on. I want this off my screen. This one, I genuinely mean that you should not go to this website because this one is a big invasion of someone's privacy. It's called iknowwhatyoudownload.com. So if you go to this tab, track downloads, it lets you make a link to any website. So I can even just do YouTube. Dot com. Then it generates this link and this link if anyone clicks on it I'm gonna be able to see the things they download on my computer now I don't even think this is like a fun prank you do on your friends if someone did this to me I'd be annoyed so before the video I was trying to see if I could do this to myself on a different computer to see if it shows what I download But because I'm on the same IP I don't think it allows that right here. It has people with similar IP addresses as me so if I click on it, they downloaded the movie Warrior and Young Sheldon and the Minions Holiday Special. What the hell? And this person, this is one I saved from earlier and this person downloaded a lot. The reason I saved this one is because on this list, you could see they downloaded porn. 125 pics of mature amateur MILFs. Okay. See, this is why having something like a VPN is pretty important. A pretty easy way to figure out that is not a real link though is that every link it generates starts with the letters I, K, W, Y, D. So if you ever see a link starting with that, don't click it. Luxurycucumber.com And this is basically all they sell. I think it's literally a vegetable, a cucumber for $29. And I think it's real and everything. You can add it to your cart. See, this is what I mean. What kind of person puts so much time towards a cucumber business? This might be a result of quarantine. This is what happens when you give people too much time. They're, they have time to make a luxury cucumber site. Anyway, if you saw the options, you can pay 39 instead of 29 and get one with a cowboy hat because there's no reason why. For $29, it better be a big one. If the cucumber I bought wasn't the biggest, girthiest cucumber I've ever had, I'd consider returning it for that price. I kinda wanna know though, how many people could possibly go to this website a day to keep this joke up? Like if you're watching this in a couple years, there's a good chance luxury cucumber is gone, which means their value has skyrocketed. Oh, what the hell? I was gonna maybe buy one. The shipping is $60. The next website, this one's kind of interesting. The name pretty much explains it. This person does not exist.com. When you first enter the website, you're greeted with someone's face. And at first glance, it just looks like a normal woman, you know, nothing to be suspicious of. But no, this woman right here is actually a fraud. This image is a computer generated person where they take other images to create someone that looks real. And you can refresh and you'll pretty much get a new one every time. The thing about this website is that it looks pretty real. Like this one is really good with the shadow. Actually, you can kind of see how it's computer generated. Next to this glasses is very kind of glitchy. With a website like this, people probably use this kind of stuff to create like a fake social media profile 
that if you had a picture like this, you would probably believe it's a real profile. But what's fun about this website is that they have spin-offs that's not just people. Like this cat does not exist.com. This cat does not really exist. You can definitely tell it's edit of some kind. What is going on there with the grass? Whoa, oh my God. This one's a chunk. That's good that they, they don't discriminate on all body types of cats. They of course also have this horse does not exist. Is that a fifth leg or is that something else? I think mean, that's a glitch. I feel like this technology might be the worst. This is just like a giant smudge of horses. Oh my God. Okay, th this is enough of the horse one. The horse one's fucked up. Moving on, this next one, this one's a shop that you can make a purchase possibly for a loved one this holiday season. And it's kind of dark. I don't know how much I should talk about this. I don't think I have talked about it. The URL is boneroom.com. And that's basically what they sell. They sell bones. And an option is human bones. And when you go to the options, the, they have an option for a full skeleton. A full human skeleton, including the skull. They have a section just for the skulls. Not only just a section for the skulls, they have a section for children's skulls. What? I don't even know if I could really show this. I think this might be blurred. I mean, you know what a skull or a skeleton looks like, but it is the full skeleton for $5,000. What I really want to know, how did they this website end up with all these skeletons? The person that owned this body, did they know that they were going to be eventually sold online to a random person? Some weirdo could buy my skull. I don't want that. Next one we're going to visit, this one is called the Internet Portal. And what's interesting about this one is that if you click this button, it sends you to a random website out of the billions out there. There's no filter, these aren't handpicked. I could end up on a hentai website or a cooking website, who knows? So not gonna lie, being that's how it is, there's a good chance I'm not gonna end up on a good entertaining website. So let's click on this button and enter the internet portal. Detongaudi.com. I went to an Asian car website. I do like Audis. Audis are nice. Let's try a different one. Standupdeskstore.com. Wow. This is really good for the video. Awesome. Well, I mean, I told you this probably wasn't going to be entertaining. Okay, next one. This one actually might be pretty funny. It's called Face Depixelator. And what it's supposed to do is try its best to make a blurry picture clear. But from what I've seen, it does not exactly do the best job at making the picture better. Like this pixelated picture of Obama, you can definitely tell that's him, but it turned the picture to... into that. And I don't know if this one is real or if it's just a meme, but apparently it turned Minecraft Steve into this. That's my nightmare. So I wanted to see if I pixelate a picture of myself and then upload it. Okay, it seems to be working. Estimated time, 29 seconds. Okay, this is so intense. What the f I was not expecting something like that. It just replaced the image with a woman. Like a middle-aged woman. Definitely fits this video. This is not a good program. I pixelated a picture of Trump, so let's see what it turns him into. I picked him because after this year, really, all the Trump memes are gonna be gone. Now, that's one thing I will miss. What the hell? It just, it turned him into a, it just turned him into a different guy. They didn't really get Trump's orangeness. I feel like this program just has a bunch of random pictures of people in a database and it just picks one that's closest to the color. Let's see pixelated Shrek. It's loading, God, I feel like this one's gonna be bad. <laughs> that it. I did not do a good job, but I kind of like it. <laughs> finally, we have three left. I say finally because these last three, they almost might not match the title because they sound interesting. Giorgio Cam, I think that's how you say it. And what you're supposed to be able to do from the description is you can take a picture of anything and then it's supposed to make a song out of the things you took a picture of. I've never tried it, so I don't even know if it's gonna work, but it sounds like an interesting concept. Use your camera to make music with me. Oh, okay, so it wants me to snap a photo. I don't have, it needs to be something it can talk about. I wanna see if it'll make a song about this pineapple. God, how am I gonna take a picture at the same time? 
I'm like taking a selfie with my laptop. What? What? That was so stupid. What the hell? I feel like I should get Kitty for this and see if it recognizes a cat. Okay, let me only do Kitty. Yeah, 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 there you go, yeah, girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's see. On my screen. I think small to medium sized cats is what it Small to medium sized cat. Oh, what? You got the cat. It's not small to medium sized. She's actually a very large cat, so. Well, I mean, I don't really know what to think of that. It, it, I mean, it kind of recognized some of the images, but it was not good. Moving on to the next one. This one also uses my webcam. It's called Semiconductor. What you're supposed to do in the webcam is like wave your hands like you're guiding an orchestra, and it's supposed to play music. It says, make an orchestra by moving your arms. The faster you go, the faster they go. Move up and down to play louder or softer. Oh, I'm sitting down though. Oh, okay. Maybe I literally need to stand up. Oh yeah, okay, I think it's gonna work a lot better standing up. I think I'm actually kinda getting it. How do I go? How do I do the tempo? I go up and down? Oh yeah, that's making it go fast. Finally, the last website we're gonna talk about, it's called Cartoonify. And what it's supposed to do, it uses artificial intelligence and it tries to draw a photo you submit. And when I picked this website, I thought it was gonna be something unique, but I kinda of ruined it because I just looked at the examples, and I guess this is the level that the art of the AI draws at. Like, look at the attempt at drawing this dog. I can draw better than that, and I suck. Let's do the photo of me first. Upload. Oh my god. How did it get to that? It did. I. It doesn't even show my legs in the photo. Um. Okay. Let's see if we can draw this photo of Kitty next to the Christmas tree. Okay. There's the code. It almost shows all this code like it's doing something impressive, but it's not. Wow. Great try, robot. This is literally like a two-year-old drawing. So for real, the AI is very young. It's just a baby growing up. Okay, well, that's all for this video. That was all 10 websites. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It helps me out. And I think it really does, especially with the algorithm, which my channel is definitely not on the best side of the algorithm right now. I also wanted to mention that I recently made a TikTok, and that's not even a joke. For right now, I'm just uploading Omegle clips on my page, but I wouldn't be against if it grows to be posting different stuff or even making new Omegle content just for TikTok. What really kind of pushed me to do it was because my last Omegle video for the past two months got removed off YouTube. Last week though, I did finally get it back up. So follow me on there. I've been trying to post every day. Hopefully it lasts because to be honest, like I've already uploaded five videos and two of them have been removed, even on TikTok. So I, just everywhere I post just gets removed. I also wanted to mention something about streaming, but I think I'll talk about that more next video. So I think that's all I have to mention in this video. Thank you all for making it to the end of this video. I love you guys and hopefully I'll see you next time.